Hey there, and welcome back to the Vex IQ Guide. If you're looking to make an autonomous code route that works really well in competitions, or you just want to see what you can do with your robot to make it move on its own, then this video is just for you. We're going to be diving in to how to program an autonomous code and how to use it in action. Let's jump right in. First, we're going to be going to the drivetrain section. What we're going to be doing first is switching the units from millimeters to inches, as I personally like using inches more than millimeters. However, if you like using millimeters more, feel free to keep it the same. Next, we're going to be moving the robot forward. We could use the drive forward block. This would actually keep the robot moving forward indefinitely, which we don't want to do. Instead, let's use the drive forward for a certain amount of units block instead, as I just dragged over here to the when started block. You simply drag a block over and place it on the when started block in order to get it in the code. What this block will do is have the robot drive forward for 10 inches as I set it to. As you can see, when the program runs, the robot moves for 10 inches. Let's figure out how to turn the robot to the right. The method that I suggest the most is using the turn to heading for a certain amount of degrees. This is because it actually uses the robot's internal gyro sensor, which allows it to have precise turning measures, and it will turn exactly to that point. So when you use this turning method, you'll get very precise and accurate turns, as you can see here. What I do not recommend is simply using the turn right block, as if you do this, to simply turn forever and ever, as you can see here. Now we can actually change the drive velocity and turn velocity by simply scrolling down here to the drivetrain settings. All you have to do is simply drag these two blocks to the when started tab and then change the percentages from 50 to 100. The default is 50, but by setting it manually to 100, you're going to be going a lot faster. However, I will warn you, if you go too fast, sometimes it can be a bit inaccurate. So try to play and test around with the best speed that gives you the best accuracy as well. Now we can do this for motors as well, not just the drivetrain. If we simply go to the motion tab, you can drag these two blocks over to the when started in order to set a certain motor's velocity and max torque to its maximum. Now, as you can see here, my motor is named Claw, as we used a claw in the last video when we built a claw bot. However, this works for any motor, and all you have to do to change whichever motor you want is click the drop down and select whatever motor that you're trying to change. Now, like the drive, you can also change the motor's position based on code. What I simply recommend doing is dragging this block of spin a motor in a certain direction for a certain number of degrees. And I know that's a lot, and it sounds like a lot, but simply look at the video and you can see which block I'm talking about. Simply drag it over, change whatever amount of degrees to whatever you need to do, and there you go. Your motor will then change to that certain amount of degrees. Now, this part is something super important if you want to have a motor stop in midair. Now, let's say you have a claw and you moved your claw up, but you notice that the claw immediately falls down after you tell it to stop moving. If you want this to be fixed, you can simply go over to the motion tab here, as I did, and drag this stopping block to your run started. If you set your motor stopping to hold, it will stop in whatever position you leave it off on allowing something like a claw to be positioned in midair and keep it there. You can also change what button starts your code. If you go over to the controller tab, you can then select the when controller button pressed and simply replace that for the when started. Then whichever button you press will then activate your code. In this example, if we press the E up button, the code will begin. Now you know how to make a Vex IQ autonomous program. If you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel for more content just like this. See you in the next one.